So um, the next item is the COVID-19 updates. I'll just say that um, we are still luckily, thankfully, in kind of a really good spot still with that. I mean, we're obviously, it's been a nightmare. About 10 cases but the But as far as the illness goes, yeah, we've had maybe 10 um, total, and there's still, you know, some that are dealing with that. They're in, you know, others have, have improved and are, are, are back um, on their feet again, but others are still, you know, being quarantined and taken care of. And we're, you know, Lisa uh, White, our, our town nurse, has been doing a, an amazing job with, um, with her, her co-nurses to, you know, she covers 14 towns, but she's, um, she's, they've been doing a great job of tracing and keeping up on this and um, trying to, you know, make sure people are safe. And please, you know, if you, if you find that you, you are, um, you know, you do, you do wind up with the, with the COVID-19, you know, and you need help, please reach out to us and we can, you know, we can find help in the community. We can get food to you. We can make sure you stay home and, you know, that you have what you need. Um, there, there's a community of people that want to help you if you do have, you know, as we start, you know, who knows how we'll, we'll open up this month or not, but as more and more people are getting out with the nicer weather, you know, these, these infections will continue. We um, we're lucky, very lucky. They're so low, but um, you know we still have no way to protect ourselves. So other than distancing, wearing a mask, which is not comfortable, but please, you need to wear them. It is the um, it is the law right now. I assume it's a law. As today. As of today. today. Um, so if you're out so, in public, just put it on. Um, even outside. Yeah, even outside. Um, you know, wherever you are, you can you can wear it. Um, you know, if you're by yourself going for a walk, not super necessary, but if you're going to be on a sidewalk passing people, you can't keep that six foot distance. You need to have that mask on um, unless obviously you've, if you have a health issue. So, you know, the other thing is we can't be policing everybody. So, you know, just, just because somebody doesn't have a mask on, we don't know if they have a medical condition that, that does not allow them to have a mask. Maybe they have asthma. They don't have a way to, um, you know, to put a mask on and still breathe. This is not fun to breathe in, but, um, and depending on the thickness of the mask. So, you know, it's, it's not our job to be out there policing everybody, but just if you set an example for yourself, your own example for your children, for your family, for your neighbors, that you are um, thinking about them and protecting yourself and protecting them, um, it catches on. More and more people I see are wearing them now and you know, again, it's 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 the law right now when you're out in public. But just if you set the example, it it um, it helps other people feel comfortable doing the same thing. So please continue with that. Um, do you have any other things to add other than well, we we have and, had really good compliance with our businesses in town. Yes, um, I was had a homeland security meeting yesterday, and uh, the outlook for PPE is much better. It seems to be stabilized in the state. We're still really short gowns. Um, people are tr still trying to track down gowns, but there's not the shortages of PPE. It's not, there's not a lot of stockpiling, but there's it's just not as short as it was. Um, and Bay State now is, te is able to test and get your return of the test in like 12 hours instead of three or four days, which is huge. huge yeah. That's been a huge help. Um, if we have agree to test you. Yes, 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 you still have to that's meet the true. criteria. That's, that's the hugest problem. There's just, you know, the virus hasn't gone away and, and, we, and you have, we don't have widespread testing yet, but it's getting better. Um, there's about 70,000 cases here in Massachusetts. We've had, unfortunately, 4,200 deaths, more than 4,200 deaths, which is horrible. Um, but the hospitalizations, um, about 5% of those um, that are really sick end up in the hospital. Um, I mean, that get sick are in the hospital. So it's been a, a little about 3,500 people right now in the hospital. Um, and it's trending down, which is really good. Um, but it's really, really important that people, um, you know, like Trevor said, what we do today determines who's going to be sick in two weeks. Mm -hmm. if there's a, like a two week lag. So even though, I mean, it, it seems like there's an uptick in activity, mm -hmm. stuff that we've had to do. But um, part of it is, I think people, you know, the weather's getting better and people are getting fatigued about staying inside and staying, you know, home. But we really, we gotta, we gotta hang on because it's really, it really determines how healthy we are. The virus hasn't gone away. It's, it's, it's scary to me because. Um, you know, the schools have been shut down, so the kids that have been vaping haven't been exposed. The, our younger mm -hmm. kids, 
um, you know, haven't been exposed. They have this, um, you know, it's just a small percentage of kids, but it's still a percentage of kids that um, have a inflammatory reaction to the COVID virus. And so they're trying to sort that out and, and they don't really know what to look for, or what the underlying issues are, why some kids react and get so very, very sick and they start, their whole body shuts down. I mean, we just, we can't take the risk. And, and, and I know people are getting frustrated. It is frustrating. You wanna get a haircut. You wanna, you know, just be normal. Go to TJ Maxx or something and buy some junk. Whatever, <laughs> you just feel like you need to get out. But we need to, we need to cope with this and, and, and hang in there. I mean, People, our community is wonderful. We, you know, the, the seniors delivered May Day flowers. You know, there was deliveries going around mm -hmm. and, really you know, nice. there's food deliveries and all kinds of stuff. And so if you know somebody that needs something or needs help, please let us know because our community does really care and is trying very hard. And, yeah. and I know we can do. Um, cover people if if I've, if things are. I've been so thrilled desperate. to watch um, you it know our, the Facebook page and people um, helping each other and making masks and putting them on their fence so people can grab and um, just reaching out to help everybody that has a need. Um, it, it's just been really wonderful to see how our community pulls together to help each other. Pretty moving. So um, we're having weekly our, our emergency dispensing group for the four towns south county you know has a weekly call every week we have at least 25 people on the average that call in we're sharing the status of what's happening in our communities and how we're coping you know thinking about how to deliver the seasonal flu vaccine how we're going to cope with you know ordering more syringes and stuff ahead of time so that you know, we can make sure everyone in our community gets vaccinated as soon as there's a vaccination available. Um, we're working, Darius, our, our superintendent is so wonderful to work with. He's, you know, he's trying to hash out issues and, and work with us as boards of health. I mean, it, it's really impressive the amount of work that's going into mm -hmm. thinking this stuff through. So please, please continue to do what you're doing um, and, and Okay. hanging in there because it's mm -hmm. really paying off for us as a community. Any other comments on the COVID update or no? Um, so just to hit on this Board of Health, um, you know, this, this kind of piece of letter from the Chief's Association's yeah. attorney, and it was about how to enforce the mask thing. Um, and so it's only a Board of Health or a Board of Health agent that can enforce it unless you I do this in quotes deputize or have a memorandum of understanding between your police officers and the board of health i'm not really interested in policing this at the moment but i if would it like becomes, us to print a couple signs because um yes. i notice people there's so many people out walking i i just again it's the perception people are outside and the perception of six feet Does is you know six feet is actually pretty far away so mm -hmm. I'm trying my damnedest to keep you guys six feet. I know, I know. Yeah, but you're doing good. This is six feet. We're yeah, good. this is six feet. But yep. what we need to do is just have, I think we, we have plenty of money, you know, from yep. the, the, the... We make some signs so and We'll talk just have about a couple it. signs to say, please, in the interest of public health, wear a mask on the sidewalks, yep. stuff like that. Can I ask but, a question? Yeah. Sure. Did we ever join that sign group at the COG? I don't know years ago yes we did we did so can i ask kevin well, if he cog, can help us with signs yeah. the cog did you know they did those nice ones for the distancing that i put up at sugarloaf and and i did get a hold of um debbie shriver and she she did put them up oh perfect on the mountain as well but and, okay. and a sign kind of like that like a campaign yeah no sign, that's what i'm thinking of just, just a couple a few that we areas, could just reminding but, people but we could put them on you know we have the uh drop off and pick up parking mm -hmm. signs up in old yep. deerfield we could plop them on those signs and there's a couple you know bus signs and different ones that we could just stick on mm -hmm. here on Main Street I, I honestly feel that most of our community is going to be really compliant because mm -hmm. we have people are being compliant and 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 they've been really we haven't had the encounters that other tracing. people may have had yeah. Um, yeah. oh I forgot about community tracing okay just one more thing yeah, sorry okay. um, 
what what happened? I, I did explain the last meeting. We went from the red caps to community tracing collaborative, and what happens? It's been a, a little bit rough, and I have to admit, one, I've one. been um, a little bit Is disappointed. And Deerfield mm -hmm. has been working very hard to ha establish a relationship with the CTC, the community tracing, and it's been a little slow. Um, they had a glitch with our Maven, which is our, you know, um, Epi uh, contacting from the state s system. Um, so that was a little bit of a problem. So it was supposed to be mandatory as of May 5th. It is actually starting, started today. Um, and so hopefully this is going to straighten out. We're, we're doing all kinds of outreach. Trevor is aware of this. We're, we've sent on some of our cases been a little disappointing but we've been able to control them we've been able to do the contacting but if if in in the future you have a COVID-19 exposure or you're and you get the phone on the phone it'll it will be an 833 or 857 number co mass COVID team will show up on your phone please answer the phone and answer participate the and yeah. answer the questions and and follow the guidelines it will be their case investigator or contact tracer and then if you need help there'll be um, you know a resource person calling you like if you need to stay home and you can't you have no one to go out and get groceries for you they get groceries for you all that kind of stuff it's a complete package and it, it this it, it will be cheaper than the way we're financing it now is through you know an hourly amount we pay for public health nurse so please please be cooperative and try to do this. And um, sorry about that. No, I that's okay. I just forgot about that. I think I